Alright, so welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be working on this Diecast Varney SW7. So, let's take it over to the track and give it a little test run. Alright, so I've got the engine all set up on the track, and here's how it runs as of now. It's quite loud if you couldn't tell. So hopefully, some fresh oil and some work will get this thing running better. So, let's go back over to the desk. All right, so let's get to work. I'm just going to start by picking some screws out that look like they could be of use. I don't actually know how to open this thing up. Another little note is that for now, this is just going to be a mechanical restoration. At some point, I want to do something very different cosmetically with this engine, but I'd rather get it working. At the end of the video, if you stick around, I might ask for some feedback on what I should do. Got the cab off. I think it's these screws here. It's the rear truck. That's weird. I thought the front one was the motorized truck. So there we go. Definitely a good bit of dirt and debris in this. All right, so sorry about that. I ran out of storage because I forgot to clear my recently deleted album. So I'm back. All that's happened is I've managed to take this one truck apart and I am just about to get in and start cleaning it up. So first off, I'm gonna start with the contacts. Next up, I'm going to clean out this whole uh, plastic truck casing. Yeah, I think that's good. Now I'll work on this little uh, bottom cover of the truck. Next up, I'll work on this plastic drive shaft. That drive shaft's good, and then next up, we've got these pair of wheels to clean up. Alright, now I think I can start somewhat reassembling this whole truck assembly. Alright, so that truck's dealt with. Next up, we've got to deal with this one. I'll do the motor here on camera and some general cleanup of it, and then I'll do the truck since I'm pretty sure it's the exact same as the other truck on a time lapse. First off, I'm just going to clean around this motor and some of that because there's a whole bunch of old dust and stuff in here. Thank you. 
about as out of the way as it'll get that brush. Get in there and try and clean that commutator off a little bit. Alright, so now I think I can get into this truck and then just get a time lapse of getting this whole thing back together and then I'll talk to you next when we're over at the track and ready to test it. set up on the track. I don't have much hope that it'll be a ton quieter, but if it runs smoothly and isn't too insanely loud, I think it'll be okay. But we'll see. <laughs> you know what, I'm just gonna check and make sure it's not rubbing on any wires or anything, and then I'll come back. In terms of the noise, that's a little bit disappointing, but expected. However, I do have a possible idea. I'm not sure if I want to do it or not, or just leave it alone. But before anything else, I have some spare uh, motors from an Atlas engine. It might be a bit big. I'm pretty sure it is. But there's a chance we could put that in it. I've also got a smaller motor right here that I could put in this or in something else. So if you want to see me upgrade something with a motor or, or this one or whatever, let me know. I think for now I'll leave this as it is for the 1950s. I don't think this is too terrible of a result, but thanks for watching.